What's up everybody? It's Robert aka ODM and I'm Hi. at work. I'm Evelyn aka Evelyn. And I'm Garrison aka Evelyn Jr. It's early in the morning guys. Anyway, if you're new to this channel, please smash that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. Did I say turn on those notifications? I think I did. <laughs> so you get uh, notified every time we upload a brand new vlog. Yes, I'm at work kicking off a brand new uh, vlog here. Day in the life, right? getting up early and it's about 5 30 right now and i need to go get some coffee right now wifey and the kids are asleep back at home i know layla's got her infusion today if you don't know she does have ulcerative colitis and my wife has gotten into it so many times if you don't know what that is well we'll leave a link right here you can check that out but yeah we'll check in wifey a little bit later what's going on fam bam today i have a really really busy day so I'm just gonna kind of bring you along with me right now I just got up got ready super quick um, I had to get Elijah ready because he has school today and here he comes what did you forget something did you forget something oh I love you so much too my love okay get in the car because we're gonna leave right now okay okay I'm coming right now I promise okay so after I drop him off at Um, Layla and I have to head to Fontana because today is actually infusion day. So that's like a whole five hour process if you guys don't know by now. Also, once we're done with that, I may head to the mall. I'm trying to find something for our Christmas intro, something particular. I don't really want to tell you guys. I want to wait to show you guys my outfit. So I need to head to the mall to find something for that. And then come back because we have so many more orders today, you guys. I love it though because it keeps me really busy. Now both of my kids are getting out of the car. I got four butt cheeks. Mine, my daughter, and my son. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hey, wait for me. All right, buddy, are you ready? You're gonna go play with your friend Ryder? Yeah? <laughs> There's such a silly boy. Okay, let's go. All right, fam bam, so we just pulled up in the parking structure. That's why it's like really dark here. <laughs> it looks funny. Uh, seriously, you guys, out of all of these two and a half years that Layla and I have been coming to Kaiser Fontana, we have never parked in the parking structure. And what the heck were we thinking? There was so much parking in here. All the time we get here, we park down stairs like the main parking lot and it takes us like 10 minutes usually to find a parking so i think this is probably what we're gonna do for now on <laughs> it's crazy um so yeah we're gonna get out her appointment is at nine o'clock um it's about 15 minutes away just real quick for those of you that don't know about layla because i know we always have a lot of new subscribers and they may not know what's going on with layla layla does have ulcerative colitis which is an autoimmune disease layla was diagnosed about two and a half years ago so we have been coming here um, to the Kaiser Fontana for that long. She first had to have her infusions um, every month, then it was every six weeks, now every eight. And so far, her disease is under control. She's in remission as long as she is getting these infusions every eight weeks. Um, what it is, is basically about a five hour IV treatment. So she does have to have an IV in her arm, which she doesn't mind. You guys know that the thing that she hates the most is the rubber band to find her vein. <laughs> she hates that so much. She literally freaks out like the biggest baby. Am I right or am I right? She's tired, you guys. She really doesn't like these days. That's why she's like tired and grumpy. She just hates having to get the infusion. But that's honestly the only thing that is keeping her disease under control. Um, if you guys don't know, also autoimmune disease, people basically have these diseases for the rest of their lives. And other people do take different routes and try to stay away from these type of medications. But it was so bad, you guys, that anything to control her disease and how bad it was, I had to do. And it is um, a treatment given by these lovely nurses at Kaiser's. So let's go in and get this day started. I will probably be here for about five hours. I typically don't vlog in there because there are other children in there. And it's obviously um, HIPAA violations. I don't like to invade anybody's privacy. Um, but once we get out, I will let you know how um, the infusion went. What up, guys? So I just got out of work right now. Came over here and picked me up some uh, El Pollo Loco. Have some of their bomb. Well, I would call it bomb. 
they're new. <laughs> Pozole Verde they had that in a quesadilla. I'm over here at Walmart now. I got to pick up a couple things for the pad. But while I was like waiting for my uh, food here, I was watching a certain uh, YouTuber's channel. They were going through a bad time right now. Or they're going through currently. Anyways, at this, at this video, it was a breakdown. Person was uh, mentally, you know, breaking down and crushed and, and just drowning in their sorrows. And I noticed that they were young. And that's what I noticed about a lot of younger, you know, YouTubers or just people that are of, of Hollywood or, or and, and I say that because Hollywood guys is a, man, it'll eat you up alive. I'm telling you, when you live that celebrity life and you're out there on the scene, you really got to keep up with the fast pace and it's not the matter if you have money if you got money it's even that it's that much worse because then you get all the fake acquaintances but and whatnot but i mean when you're in that circle of friends or acquaintances as i call them because majority of them aren't really your friends i mean there's some people that really genuine do care about you a lot of them are just there for the ride guys and you start to realize who your real friends are and who your families are and you start to miss them furthermore you start to dig into yourself as far as mentally like wow man like it's just this really who I am is what I've become because it'll change you the bigger you get I've been there before at one point of time in my life where I was just like man I had everything this was before my marriage of course I was out there out in Hollywood man and just living the good life quote unquote right you think that you're on top of the world and this roller coaster right you just don't want it to stop because you're on this high then you start to realize at the end of the day it gets old guys it really does partying after partying after partying especially and then you come across certain things you start doing things that you don't you wouldn't normally do and hang out with people you wouldn't normally hang out with but because they are who they are and it's a whole networking thing it could take a toll on you I'm glad that people some people are realizing at a younger age sooner than later as I watch these channels because as someone who's been there already before it took me a while to really figure that out because you know I'm always on the go 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 always hustling always working at the end of the rainbow there's still your life and this is for Millennials too like guys seek God in every situation I, I promise you that your life is going to be 110% better if he's in your life. When I was at my lowest point of depression, I was going to go see a therapist, you know, a psychiatrist. And my boy pulled me in and said, Robert, hey, you don't come, come with me to church, man. Come with me. And that Sunday, I ended up walking down and accepting Lord uh, Jesus Christ as my Savior. And after I did that, I, my whole world changed. I wasn't alone ever again. These are truthful words that I speak to you. I am so excited for those that are going through depression right now that are about to experience this, which I hope you do. And if someone's around you that's going to do what my friend did for me, that really changed my life. So with that being said, guys, uh, best of luck to you. Don't let this world consume you. You know what I'm saying? Be happy about it. And if you're not happy, then get out. All right, fam, fam. So, quick little update. Um, I got done with Layla's infusion about an hour and a half ago, and I have just been in so much pain um, from my hand and my wrist that I didn't even vlog when we got out of her appointment. I just wanted to come straight to Corona and come into my urgent care because I'm just in so much pain. I try to get in with my doctor. Um, but she was all booked for the day, and then I guess she's going to be out of town starting tomorrow for already Thanksgiving. So I um, ended up seeing a different doctor, and she said I've already been doing, like, all the steps leading up to what is next. Like, the next step. I've already been wearing the brace at night. I already started wearing the brace during the day. Um, I'm, I'm taking meds for it just for the pain. So she said next step would be to continue wearing the brace during the day which I feel like it's not really working. Um, and then next step would be to get an injection, which, which that would help for about six months. And then after that, if that doesn't work, then surgery. So then she's like, what do you want to start off with? So I said, let's just start with maybe like an injection, which I think is like a steroid or something. So she's like, okay, but she's not my primary doctor. She's just going to get approved from my primary first, which is out of town for like a week and a half, which kind of sucks. But she said if my primary is not able to do it, then she will go ahead and do it for me as soon as she can. So she's going to give me a call back on that. And she said just to kind of take it easy because uh, it hurts really bad. She like tapped on the inner part of like my wrist. I'm like, oh my God, it hurts. It hurts and it like almost like, I don't know, like it vibrates. My, my whole arm, my forearm 
in my hand like everything is just hurting so bad I literally cannot take it anymore I told Robert yesterday I'm just in so much pain I cannot sleep at night I'm constantly waking up I'm almost afraid to fall asleep just because I know that my hand is gonna start hurting it is just so bad right now so I think with the injection I'm hoping that'll f make me feel like a lot better if not then I'm thinking I may actually have to have the surgery which I know my mom did have the surgery a while back so that's probably going to be the next step so yeah, that is just a little life update for you guys and just to let you know what I am going through because I have just been so miserable. You guys have no idea and just exhausted and tired of feeling this way. Like I hate it. It's making me really tired too and kind of like angry because I'm in so much pain and I, I just want to be normal. I'm about to leave the urgent care right now. I am going to head to my sister's house because she is going to do something to my hair, you guys. Just wait. Stay tuned. Well, look who it is. The two little preschoolers. Did you guys have a good day at school? Oh, yeah. 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 yeah! What'd you learn, Elijah? Kind of so hold on, Okay. Yeah. What'd you learn, Delilah? <laughs> oh, wow. Very interesting. <laughs> and what about you, little man? What did you learn at school today? <laughs> Nothing? Okay. And you, Mr. Big Boy, Ew. I heard you're gonna be a jolly green giant. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> See, that's not nice. My baby Ace is gonna is in the 95 percentile. He's gonna be a six footer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright you guys, it has begun. Stay tuned to see what she's doing. With my mom yelling in the background. <laughs> Looking pretty good. <laughs> when I'm at my mom's house. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Somebody what? look like a cone head right now. Oh, I look like a black cone head, I guess. <laughs> right. You're born and tidy. <laughs> I know I <laughs> Say hi. Oh, yeah. Ooh, but. Let me let me see the pirate face. <laughs> They're still yeah, it has the thing that you, you mean pull back. The pool back and then What's going on guys? So I just wrapped up some uh, merch here. RPG fan merch by the way. You can go cop it. I uh, got the burgundy fall colors already laid out. I'm sure the white we showed you on the last vlog. But uh anyway, I was doing some uh, settings. Getting the uh, mailing right. I want to appreciate everybody who's been supporting us on that. Right now, I'm going to go uh, visit with wifey and my father-in-law because um, there's some things I have to talk to him about and see how she's doing. I know she's with the kids right now. She's not feeling so well. She's been having arthritis pains. I'm sure she's probably mentioned that to you guys um, with her arm or with her hand, I should say, her wrist. She went to the doctors today and I'm hoping that everything turned out okay. So anyway, I'm gonna find out right now as soon as I go over there. What up, homie? That was my neighbor, Ricky. He's probably sad. Ricky, you probably sad right now that the Bears lost to the Rams. <laughs> Damn, about to jack me a package. Oh, really? What's up, funny? What's up? Where my McDonald's at? What's up, pumps? I don't know why this came in. I got money in it? Man, because the hyena needs braces. Where you been? How was school? I'm good. Who's this? Layla? Is this a serious moment right now or what? Wash your hair. What are you doing? I'm cutting my hair. How come? She said she can't breathe. I know she's not like a statue. You all right? Breathe. She can't breathe. She just can't move. She hunches a lot. Did you throw your thing up there? And, and make grandma's thing fall off? Did you do that? Ooh, what'd you do? How can you just tell anyone? Because I don't be telling nobody. You did that? Come here. I be, I be staying low key. You threw your thing up there and you hit grandma's glass? Did he break it? He dropped it. Where is it at? He didn't break it. He just fell off his back of the plant. What the heck? Knock this down. Ooh. Now you gotta go get a ladder and you gotta put it back up. Why'd you take a shower or what? Why? Surprise you. Yeah. Surprise you with what? What are you doing? My sister's putting magical powers and making my hair grow long. Oh. Just kidding. If you wish.
All right, bam bam. So here it is. Here's my new hair. I dyed it almost like black brown, like really, really dark brown because of two reasons. One, it's fall and I usually like to go a little darker in the fall. And two, I'm thinking of letting my hair grow out and the only way that my hair grew like really, really long. It's actually when I first like met Robert was when my hair was one color and I just trimmed always like a little bit of like the dead ends at the end and I never dyed it or anything. It was just always like, actually I did dye it. I dyed it dark all the time and I would trim it just like little small trims here and there and it grew so long. It was like so nice and healthy because I wasn't bleaching it. So um, my sister went ahead and she cut it probably one last time. I'm still debating. I don't know if I want to keep it dark like this actually i'm gonna keep it dark like this but i don't know if i want to keep it short you guys obviously know robert really wants me to grow up my hair but personally i really like my hair short i don't know i just feel like it gives me like a little mom vibe type thing yeah now you know what i'm saying let me know what you guys think down below if you guys like the color it's really just pretty basic i really liked the color i had before i got a lot of compliments on it it was like kind of like an ashy gray sometimes purple tint but i felt like it's time for a new look especially that it's fall so yeah let me know what you guys think down below and let me know if you guys think i should keep it short or let it grow up meanwhile i got home I was getting stuff out of the car and elijah was outside with robert and he likes to play in my car when i get home and he smashed his finger in the door, guys. By the way, I feel like my hair will look a lot better once I'm actually <laughs> ready. Harry, here's my baby. Are you okay, my baby? What happened, my poor baby? What were you doing? You were playing in mommy's car and I told you not to, huh? I'm driving. You want to drive it? You can't drive my car. But Papa, Aya. You're going to try to go to Aya's? Yeah. Oh, let me see your finger. He's probably gonna lose his nail, you guys. Is it feeling a little better with the ice? Mine. Were you scared when you did it? Oh, I know. Is that all you're gonna say to me? Oh yeah, I know. You guys, I just told Layla that Elijah smashed his finger. And she's like, oh, is it gonna fall off? And I said, yeah, probably, like right at the tip. She's like, his finger's gonna fall off? <laughs> no, his finger's not gonna fall off just his nail. I'm pretty sure his nail is going to fall out. All right, fam bam. So that's going to end this uh, vlog here today. want to thank you guys for watching. Taking a little dip, little trip into our life. My hand still hurts, you guys. I don't have my brace on right now, which I should because I'm in the garage, like moving things around. But yeah, pray for me. I still have not gotten my injection or steroid yet, but hopefully I'll be getting that soon. So. so more day in our life vlogs coming pretty soon. But we're doing some cleaning again. You? I I'm this doing garage. Some cleaning. Yeah, she's doing some cleaning. <laughs> That's why, man, this garage is always dirty, man. Yeah, we have to clean it out like every couple of months, but hey, whatever. Our post notification shout out goes out to Marie Wade. Hey, shout out to you, girl. Thank you so much for watching our vlogs. We love you for that. If you guys would like to post notification shout out, all you guys gotta do is one, one subscribe to our YouTube channel, two, two, hit that little bell button so that every time we post, you guys will get notified. And when you're done, just comment down below. Hashtag, Hashtag done. done. Don't forget to be subscribed, you guys. We love you. Bye.